Okay, we are back, and it is the review cell looking at Project Justice. This is a game for the Dreamcast. It was also an arcade classic. It's also known by Project Justice Rival Schools 2, and it came out in Europe. And I'm just going to play the Japanese version show you guys what it's all about. It's a fighting game, obviously, as you can see the guy fighting by himself. Of course, I can't read any of this. Japanese is pretty rusty. But we're going to go for the first thing. It's usually story mode. Anyway, this game is a little quirky, as you can see. But it has a lot going for it. You got team-ups. You're going to have your characters have their friends to come into battle. They're all like at some kind of school or, you know, it seems I'm going through the custom character creation screen right now. You know, your basic cartoony anime looking. Wow, look at that. Wow. Make them as weird as you want to look, as funny as you want to look. Wow, look at that. We can even... Ooh. Make him funky looking. Let's make him look really weird just for this review. I'm gonna go with the weirdo look right here. Anyway, the case being, we're gonna skip ahead a little bit and just show you the story mode. So you start off with your pick of your characters. They live in different locations around the city. And they do different things. Like, this is a group of you know, teachers and officials. You have the more sports-like team with his bat and his soccer ball. Some of the main characters, looks like I'm gonna get the automatic ch choosing. I forgot this time limit. And when it comes down to it, there's a little story at the beginning when the game starts off. But we can't really read that, of course. <laughs> the score actual storyline if you want to look up look it up it's actually a little interesting I'm not gonna spoil anything for this review it's mostly about the gameplay and the quirkiness of the game itself each start of the characters have a little banter and it just explains why they're fighting a little bit and what's going on and then you pick your partner who you want to go first last second third so let's get it on these guys look pretty bad. So I'm going to try to show you as much moves as I can. You have your punch button with normal X button. You have your Y button to do stronger attacks. B to kick. A to do some lighter kicks. You can also recover in the air after you get kicked by just tapping the button. See, he just did a special. If I got hit by that... One of his partners might come in and do, do an attack on me. On the bottom, you can see there's a little meter that says max 5. That's the highest you can go at the point, this point. And at that point, if I get an actual attack through, my characters will come and try to uh, try to fight with a special. Right here, I have guts up, which helps my health and, you know, my stamina. But if I have the max up, I can use all of it to get all three of them in if I can just... Get a little hit on him first. Uh oh, I'm about to die. There we go. Okay, so, so now you're seeing a special with all three characters attacking at once. I'm not controlling anything right now. But specials can also be stopped by right when the special is being done, doing your own special, and also having characters attack while you're trying to connect on the special as you saw earlier. The little meter on the side was a little system where I can pop it, someone in and out mid game. Because I only have one guy left. A strategy might be to you know pick someone else who's better at fighting people who are a little faster. You can juggle a little bit as you saw before. I'm not doing too well right now. I'm gonna get warmed up. Similar to games like Capcom, Marvel. You can juggle, when you hit them in the air by just jumping up with them. You can try to get, you to get him to do it, no you cannot. It seems to be working well though. Oops, there we go, let him juggle me a little bit. 
a little damage from the items in the background. But if you look at the graphics, let's take a look at... I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, it'll work. Uh-oh, it's going to try to stop me. Just stay away from him so my attack can go through. The graphics, uh, you know, you can get used to them. They're a little obviously dated, like most of the games I'm going to be showing. If you're going to play this game, it's going to be more for your entertainment. You know, the quirkiness, the the overall appeal is mostly the, the fact that these quirky, weird special attacks will occur. I'm going to try to get through as much as I can with them. After each fight, you're going to have a little banter between your characters. I don't have the translating ver translated version up, so we're just going to skip ahead of that. Alright, school's out. Let's have a fight. Got the violinist. Got the bad boy... Well, bad girl, I should say. A little bit of acrobatics on her. Each of the characters have a, a nice little style of their own. Uh-oh, I'm going to get hit. Oops. Oh, that's a sidestep. I forgot to mention that. Your character can sidestep to dodge attacks, obviously. A little Sakura look-alike. This is, I believe, Capcom. So, the company who's uh, in development with this game, so it is going to have a little resemblance to their other games, namely Street Fighter and all that stuff. And look at us, we're at the carnival. We got a tennis player. I, like, I actually like that character I'm playing against right now. She has a lot of projectile moves and she's easy to use. Very fast, small. You got to be more strategic. Anyway, I wanted to get out of there and show you a little bit more of the other options in the game. This versus mode, obviously, training mode. There's a league battle, which I'm going to go into that soon. Tournament. And, you know, your normal edit options and network play. Network play, obviously, is down, but we're going to jump right into a uh, league battle. And this is what you got right here. You set up your own group. I'm going to pick my main man right here. Oops, crap. crap, crap. Do not like doubles. <laughs> you can use your edited character, of course. You can save them to your VMU. So you can bring it to your friend's house and use them there. I'm not an all boy team type person, so I'm going to bring that. You see, how this works is you won't actually get in too much trouble if you lose in this type of mode. It's more of, like, you, if you lose, you first the next, next crowd. If you lose that, you first the next crowd. And at the end, it's kind of it's kind of going to tally up your points in a way. So you're going to want to... It's better to win as much as you can so you have a better chance later on when it gets harder. Another one of the quirky moves that they do in this game. I don't know how this hurt to you, but... I guess it's just not the type to do ballet or whatever. They're just destroying so me just again. To show you, I just lost, so my team gets an X right there, right? And if you wanted to pause that, you would see that just because I lost doesn't mean it's completely over. Unlike a tournament mode. Right now, I'm going to take on the other team's character so I can play a little bit. You can also just make the seats the computer play for itself. So this girl actually fights with a camera. She takes pictures and somehow that really hurts you. Oh. So yeah, it's very arcadey as you can see. It's very quirky, strange, and it'll take some time to get used to it, but not enough that it really matters. It's not like a a Tekken game or something where you need to memorize your moves very well. It's easy enough for anyone to get into. If you really want to put your time into it, you can really get great at it. I know at the moment it seems maybe maybe a little a little you know jumpy, and that just goes with the time the time period when this game was made. There's not m m a lot of frames in the characters. Oh crap, she actually caught me. See, she did a double. 
a double uh, dodge to get into hitting me at the time. Let's see if this will hurt. Okay. And there are low and high attacks like all games of this manner. Ah, oh, Jesus, girl's annoying me. I'm just gonna excuse that and say I put on hard mode, guys. <laughs> they really enjoyed it. It's just a little, really over the top, and it's, it harkens back to the old days where games were just about having fun at all costs, you know? Yeah, like, where did that bench come from? Like, where did... It's just really a strange game at its, at its, at its most. Like, ballet dancing. Yes, some of the moves do mix together because certain characters have certain tag team moves attached to them, but there are a ton of moves to see and there's a ton of things to do in this game. So, if you're looking for, for something to stall you before your next, uh, next gen game, you can look back with the retro look back, you know? See if you might enjoy it. Oh, no special for you. Nate really enjoyed it. It's just a little, really over the top and it's harkens back to the old days where games were just about having fun at all costs, you know? Yeah, like, where did that bench come from? Like, where did... It's just really a strange game at its, at its, at its most. Like, ballet dancing. Yes, some of the moves do mix together because certain characters have certain tag team moves attached to them, but there are a ton of moves to see and there's a ton of things to do in this game. So, if you're looking for, for something to stall you before your next, uh, next gen game, you can look back with the retro look back, you know? See if you might enjoy it. Oh, no special for you. So let's, uh, let's set up our tournament. Like always, we go through each character and who we should pick, and this is, yep, so this is the tournament part, this portion. Let's start it off. It's your basic, you know, tournament format. You win, you you're, you, st you still keep going. If you lose, you stop. This is uh, the second game in the series, so if you want to get the first one, Rival Schools United by Fate, you can take a look at that too. This game uh, has a lot going for it if you really look at it, but there are some problems, I would say. The game can be on the easy side once you get used to it. The graphics do have some pop-ups and, you know, I haven't seen much slowdown, but I have seen the fact that these textures and the overall look of the game is just hard to look at at this point because we're so used to these more detailed fighters these days. But I would really be basing the game off this gameplay more. And for that fact, it's a fun game when it comes down to it. Yes, there aren't a lot of, you know, frames in between each character's movements. And the characters can be, you know, this one's a little too slow. This one's a little too fast. This, they're kind of jerky and, and they move. But it's all good towards the whole arcade -y feel of it. Where you just hop in and play, have a good time, you know. Maybe for a small 20 minute, 30 minute sessions, and you'll enjoy it for that. It's silly on purpose, and it knows, knows itself not to take itself too seriously. So, if you can just not take it too seriously and just enjoy the game for what it is, you're gonna like it. So, take a look if you want. And that's all for now. Stay tuned for more from the review cell. And don't forget to donate to Sickle Cell Research.